Hello! Today we're going to do a quick walkthrough of using Eclipse to create a Java project. Once you've installed Eclipse for Java developers and opened it up, you'll see a launcher screen like we're looking at here. This is prompting you to choose a workspace. A workspace is really just a folder where you want to save your Java projects. And this is the location that Eclipse will look at when it launches and when it opens up um, the Package Explorer to show you all of your projects. So you can keep the default or you can change to a different workspace if you'd like to. Once you hit launch, um, it will take maybe 15-20 seconds to open up Eclipse. Once Eclipse is opened, um, you may see a welcome screen with some links for helpful tutorials and other resources. I'm going to go ahead and X out of that because what I'd like to show you is the Package Explorer here on the left. The Package Explorer will show you all of the projects that are active in your workspace. So as you create Java projects, you'll see um, multiple instances of projects there on the left hand side. At this point, I don't have any in my workspace, so I can create, click here to create a Java project, or I could go to File, New, and create a Java project to kick off the generation of a project. And a project is really just a named um, program where you may have one or multiple Java files. So I'm gonna go ahead and call this Lab One Project. I'll use the default location, which is that workspace. Um, the Java runtime environment has a certain version. You can change this. I generally do not. I generally keep with whatever the default is, um, unless I have a reason to do so. In our class, we won't be doing anything um, that requires the latest version of Java. So um, anything Java 8 or after is fine. I want to make sure that I uncheck this create module info .java file checkbox um, because I really don't want to use modules in my project. Um, modules are just a, a unique name for reusable groups of packages that are related. And that might tweak your memory, that word package. Um, a package is a namespace that organizes a set of related classes and interfaces. So it's like a hierarchy. Your code is in a Java source code file. Java source code files can be um, grouped together in a package, which essentially puts them in the same folder. And packages can be grouped together in a module. But we aren't going to use the module functionality. I'm going to go ahead and uncheck that and hit next. On the screen, I'm not going to do anything, but just so you know, this is where you can edit um, any kind of Java settings that you might need. I'm going to hit finish, and it's going to generate my project here. You can see it on the left-hand side, Lab 1 project with this structure. Notice that it already included the Java Runtime Environment System Library and a folder called SRC. SRC stands for source code and is where your Java class files will reside. At this point, there's nothing in them, um, so we'll go ahead and click to add a new Java class. We typically don't use the same exact name as the project, so I'll call this Lab1. And the nice thing about um, using an IDE such as Eclipse is it makes common tasks easier. So for example, I can click this checkbox, Public Static Void Main, and when I generate the class, it will automatically create the method main in my class, which is just a little bit of a time saver. So here we can see the lab1.java source code file is located in the default package. Um, for our class, that's, that's all you need. Just so you know, uh, when we created that class, we could have also named a specific package name and um, it would have named this package and included a package directive up here at the very top of the screen, and that's just fine too. Um, for now, I'm just going to keep it with the default package 
and use my file lab one here. So I'm going to go ahead and edit and add a hello world message. System that out that print or print line um, is what we need or print F in order to output a message to the user to be seen on the council window. And you can see that it does do some autocomplete for you here. If you want to, you can select from this list and it will go ahead and you know populate your screen with whatever it is that you want. I actually selected the wrong one there. I selected a Boolean, which is why I did that. Um, but uh, to select something in the list that's highlighted, we just click enter. I'm gonna go ahead and type mine in, hello world. And to run it, you can just press the play button. It will save and then run your program. The council window typically appears down here at the bottom. Um, these windows are configurable, so you can move them around. So you uh, might have it in a different location. You can drag it down if you wish to do so. But here is your running output, hello world, from this project. So it's nice, this piece of software allows you to write, edit, save, compile, and run your projects all in one place. Um, that means that you don't need to use Notepad or um, the command prompt. This is going to be able to do everything for you and, and fill all of those roles. If you did make a mistake, for example, let's say you forgot the closing double quote, uh, another nice thing about Eclipse and other IDEs are that they compile as you're typing. So that's indicating to me an error. If you hover above it or click the red X, it's going to tell you what is wrong. Sometimes it doesn't really know what's wrong um, depending on the complexity of the error. But in this particular case, it actually gave me a pretty good error message indicating um, what was wrong. So that's something that uh, is very helpful that you can use. As I ran my project, it actually um, went ahead and compiled and ran my project. I'm going to go ahead and save all. If that's not highlighted, it's because I didn't make any changes from the last run. I think I actually did, so save all was available. But if it's not, it's because uh, it already saved for you. And where are these files anyway? If you right click on your project and you go to properties, You'll notice the location is the workspace that um, I selected when the project was created. I kept the default workspace and notice it created a folder lab one project in that workspace. You can actually jump right to it in File Explorer and it shows you that project there. I actually have another project uh, from earlier in there as well that I had removed from my package explorer but I kept on disk so I do see another folder. But Lab One Project is there. I can double click and enter it. And notice that there are um, auto-generated files that are created that are truly part of this project. Um, SRC shows me my um, Java source code file. So when you submit assignments in the Java class, I really just need your .java files. Um, but if you do send me your project in its entirety, um, and that's especially useful if you have multiple files, multiple Java files. You would want to go up to the top level and um, send to compress to zip that up. 